Hey gang, it's Maud here again and welcome to your side body focused vinyasa class. So in this vinyasa class, as the title suggests, we are going to send our attention into our side bodies, our waistline, um, all the muscles right here in the side of the body. We're going to try to make length and space and to really feel almost liberation in that area, in our torso or in our thorax. We're going to do a little bit of movement that will really send some attention into what it's like to have that side feeling long and spacious. And so I want us to actually start on our backs, but before you get there, as you can see, I have my blocks, my trusty blocks and my blanket. If you have knee issues or anything like that at all, grab a blanket or you can fold your yoga mat, or you can use some yoga blocks um, later on if you need uh, something to put your hands on uh, as we get into these poses. Otherwise, it's not really a mandatory prop and we're all just gonna enjoy. As the saying goes, um, Energy goes where attention flows, or energy flows where attention goes, right? So, side body. Let's start here on our backs. And then get into a five-point star. So the feet are as wide as the mat, and the hands are also just kind of making that letter Y shape right above you. And you get the fidgets and the wiggles out of the way. You start to close your eyes or be heavy on your eyelids and just kind of bring yourself into your mat a little bit deeper with every exhale and every breath that you take. You find yourself more and more just physically present here. Don't change the breath too much just yet. Notice the weight of your shoulder blades down on your mat. Notice the sensation of the backs of your palms towards the floor. Notice how your head and your neck feel as you're in here. Notice your spine down on your mat. And maybe there's a little bit of space on your lower back. Notice your buttocks your pelvis, and then notice your legs, how the feet are turned out, and how the toes feel. And then just thinking as one unit, how the whole body feels. And then let's change the breath, inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, slowly sigh it out. Ha. <sighs> Inhale through those. Open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> One more time. Inhale in. And then sigh it out. <sighs> Beautiful, guys. As you start to breathe soft and smooth, Maybe some of you are, you have your uh, lips closed. And so if that's the case, just make sure that as you're breathing in and out through the nose, that you are sort of breathing consciously. And almost like a feel of vibration in the back of your throat. And let the breath influence the movement. and already sending attention to the side body. And one more breath here. Exhale. Then you can blink your eyes open. Walk your feet towards the left side of your mat and then you are going to slide your arms to the left side of the mat as well. We're going to do Bananasana, making that letter C shape. And you can just have your right shoulder blade down as your nose and your face are actually facing the ceiling, trying not to twist the neck or rotate the neck. And then send your right ankle on top of your left foot. And find this nice stretch on the right side. Already feeling length and space. I'm sort of letting the inhales feel a little bit more length in that side. 
and the exhale, make your right buttock cheek feel like it's sinking deeper into your mat. One more breath like this. Inhale. And then exhale. Release the feet first. Then release the hands. And then this time, walk your feet over to the right side. And then slide the arms over on that side too. And then crossing your left foot on top of the right. Maybe the fingers can join each other, but get your left shoulder blade down. You're literally sliding down your mat and both your hip points are pointing towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthens that left side. Imagine your skin also kind of like getting long and open. Exhale, ground your left hip down. And take one more breath just like that. And then exhale. Beautiful, slowly release. Come back into your five-point star. But lengthen your right arm towards the right. So almost like in your five o'clock in that perspective. So if this is your 12, this would be your five behind you. And then lift the right leg up and cross it over towards the left side, but you're going to let it hover. Let the left hand grab your right thigh. And if it's too far, just point the right toes and let it hang. But feel this nice twist over on the right side. Keep lengthening the right arm. Keep pointing the right toes as it's crossing over the left side. And then slowly plant the right foot down. Right arm comes back to center. This time, left hand lengthens towards your 7 o'clock. Lift your left foot off of the mat. Cross it over towards the right side. Let it hover. If it can, right hand outside the left thigh. Point the toes. Find the length. Find the strength, too, in that leg. Maybe as you point your toe, you feel this in your quad. Lengthen the left arm long, about one more inch. Somebody's grabbing you in opposite direction, two people. One's grabbing your hand, one's grabbing your toes. Inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower. Send both heels in towards your glutes. And then just take nice windshield wipers left and right. Feeling this opening on your lower back. Beautiful. Next time you're on the right side, just roll onto that side and gently push yourselves up and come into a nice quadruped with your hands and knees. Let me fix my hair. <laughs> hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, zipping up that belly so you're not dumping in your shoulder joints. Feel a little bit of lift away from the mat. And then keeping your spine neutral right here at the start, let's just slowly do our cat-cows right here. Starting with our belly, drop it down, lift your tailbone up, and as you open the chest, also feel this in your side body as you're lifting your head up. And then exhale as you round the belly, feel this um, contraction, the front of the belly, your abdominals, but also feel the shape that your side body is making. It's almost making this letter C shape, upside down. Inhale, slow as you go. Come into your cow pose. And then exhale, slowly round the spine. Drop your chin towards your chest. Two more times just like that. Drop the belly, lift the tailbone. Open your chest and then lift your head. And then exhale, round your spine. Drop your head. One more time just like that. And then exhale, chin to chest, tuck your tailbone down. Beautiful. Come back into your quadruped. In this neutral quadruped, keep zipping up the belly. And we're going to walk our hands towards the left side, towards our left side of the shins. And then as you inhale, feel this rounding in your spine. And as you exhale, just tuck your chin towards your chest. Push your hips a little bit towards your right. One last breath. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly walk the hands over your rainbow to the other side, right outside that right shin. Inhale, lengthen out. 
and then curl the spine before you exhale drop your chin towards your chest and then nudge your hips towards the left side last breath here inhale and then exhale Walk the hands a little bit more forward of the shoulders. Keep the toes tucked in the back. Separate the knees out. And then slowly push yourselves into the hips to heels like floating child's pose. So the forehead is going to hover perhaps, hips towards the heels. And we're just going to stay this for, for here for one more breath, feeling the strength in your shoulders. Exhale. Nice job. Slowly come up. Knees a little bit um, together. Now underneath the hips, tuck the toes in the back. Lengthen the spine. Send your hips back towards your heels before you come up into a downward facing dog. With your hands at least shoulder width apart and your feet at least hip width apart. Pedal the legs one by one. Right leg first, left leg. And then just slowly opening the back body. Prioritizing the lengthening of the spine. So right now we're kind of opening the back body a little bit, recognizing maybe some tightness, some tension. And then on your next inhale, you're going to soften the knees and lengthen your spine. Push your hips back and up in your letter A shape. And as you exhale, just drop the head. Find your downward facing dog. Again, you can soften the knees, lengthen the spine, hips up and back. Next inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, plant the heels to the right, and then push your hips towards the right side, body stretch on the left side. You're absolutely right. I'm going to milk any opportunity to lengthen the left side. Nice job. Inhale, he heels to center. Keep them floating. Exhale, heels left, toes right. Push the hips to the left, lengthen that right side. Breathe. Last breath here. Inhale. As you exhale, come back to center, separate the feet out wide, almost mat width apart, and then walk your hands towards your feet. And then come into this half malasana, almost deep deadlift um, shape, where your booty's back, but you're not down on a squat. You want to tap the sit bones towards the wall and the back, and find this deep bend in your knees, and your spine in, is parallel towards the mat and the floor best you can. Now open up the arms and send the right arm underneath the left to find eagle arms. Or if that's too much and you can always have the hands on the shoulders, hug asana. So as you're here, sit bones back, spine parallel. Slowly slide the hands towards the other side of your mat. And on an inhale, come up standing into this flying eagle. So the elbows are up, 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 maybe right in front of your face past the nose. And as you exhale, you send the elbows down to midline first before you hinge back into your half squat. Slide the hands forward first. Inhale. Slowly come up. Squeeze your glutes as you come up. Fly that eagle. Exhale, elbows down to midline. Hinge with your hips back. Spine parallel towards the mat. Two more just like that. Slide the hands. One long inhale, guys. Fly that eagle. Glute squeeze. Find your nice posture. Woo-wee. So nice on the shoulders and the deltoids. Exhale. Elbows down. Hinge back. One more time. Slide hands forward. Lift it all the way up, up, up. Fly that eagle. And as you exhale, unwind the arms. Then you're going to clasp the fingers together behind you, keeping the feet where they are. Join the shoulder blades together, chest out, send your ribs in, and just find a nice opening here in the chest, sending your hands away from the body as the glutes keep squeezing. Breathe. Inhale. And then exhale, release the arms. Find that deep fold again in your hip flexors. Lengthen the arms, and this time, left arm underneath the right for eagle or hug asana. Booty back, but still up. Strong legs, spread the toes. And then slide your hands forward towards the opposite side of the mat. Inhale, lift your arms up. Fly this eagle. Woo, feels different on this side. Exhale, find your midline first. And then hinge back. 
slide forward. This is one long inhale, guys. Come up. Elbow past your nose, maybe. Exhale, midline. And then hinge back. And then do that two more times. Sliding forward. Find the fluidity. And the breath is so key here. If the breath is choppy, exhale down. Guess what? The movement's also going to be choppy. One more time, slide it forward. Feels good outside the shoulders, the deltoids. Squeeze your glutes as you fly this eagle. And then exhale, you slowly lower. Release the arms. Clasp the hands once again, but a different thumb is in front, so it's your awkward grip. Find your nice posture. Get the shoulder blades to squeeze towards each other already. Open chest, ribs in. Inhale, lengthen out with the arms. Kind of feeling this in your triceps too, yeah? Deep breath in. And then exhale it out. Release the arms. Walk your hands back to your downward facing dog. And this time you're going to walk your feet in now back to at least hip width apart. We're going to stay here in two breaths in this down dog. Again, prioritizing the lengthening of the spine. So if the legs are straight, but that rounds up your spine, just stay spine long and soft legs. Totally cool. Spread fingers, spread palms, relax your neck. Inhale here. Exhale. And the bottom of your exhale, slowly look towards your hands and step or walk to the top of your mat or where the hands are. And then heel to your feet to be a little closer together than hip width. And then inhale, rise up. Watch your palms connect. As you exhale, sit into chair pose. Before we get in a flow, we're going to spend about a breath or two with each pose. And then we'll do one breath, one movement. Inhale here in your chair. And as you exhale, slowly twist towards the right. Just twist. You don't have to plant that elbow just yet. Inhale here. As you exhale, send your left elbow outside your thigh. We really just wanted to take a breath there to find the twist before we deepen it. Keep your pelvis pointing center. On your next exhale, keep the right foot where it is. Just step the left foot back into a lunge with a twist. Finding your balance. Using the left elbow in your right thigh as a leverage to nudge and deepen this twist to the right. Slowly plant the left heel down as you cartwheel up into your reverse warrior so that the right leg is bent and the left leg is long. Left hand down, right arm up. Beautiful. One last breath. Inhale. As you exhale, let's get into Gada. So toes out, heels in, cactus shape with your arms. Find this deep bend in both legs, and the knees are pointing towards your pinky toes. Chest out, ribs in. Feel your side body long. Next inhale, five-point star, lengthen it out. And as you exhale, hands on the hips, shift the weight onto your left leg, and then slowly come up and lift the right leg up. Squeeze your glute med or that side muscle in the glutes. Point your toes, big inhale. As you exhale, plant the right foot. Swivel towards the right side. Bend that right leg. Pivot the back heel. High crescent lunge. You can find a bend in the back leg. That way you also get a hip flexor stretch on that left side. Deep breath in. As you exhale, drop the right arm and send the left hand over to the right side. Lateral bend stretch on this left side. Holy moly. You guys are going to be two inches taller after this class with all this lengthening we're doing. Inhale. As you exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Come back into your downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, shift to plank. You can do knees down or knees off, but chaturanga, bend your elbows halfway. And then find your back bend, find your heart opener. Could be upward facing dog with the knees and hips off the mat. Or could be cobra with your hips and knees on the mat. And it's just a little lift. 
Shoulders in the back, working hard. I'll come up to upward facing dog. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Lift your hips back and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bottom of the exhale, look towards your hands. Step or walk the feet towards the top of the mat. Inching heel toe your feet a little closer together. And then slowly rise up into your standing pose. Hands to heart center, find your chair pose. Buddha sits back and down. Heart stays lifted. Like I said, we're going to spend about a breath or two with each pose before we do one breath, one motion. Yeah? Inhale right here. And as you exhale, you twist towards the left. Just twist it first. Open twist, inhale. And then you exhale, right elbow outside the left thigh. You can do prayer or hands, uh, sorry, fist to palm, whichever one feels comfortable to you. Inhale here. Keep your left foot where it is and then step the right foot back into a twisted lunge, keeping the right heel up. Deepen that twist. Inhale, using that right elbow. As you exhale, plant the right heel down, cartwheel up into your reverse warrior. Find a nice alignment here between your left heel and your right arch. Make that adjustment, deeply bending the right leg. Inhale. I'm going to be looking away from you. I apologize, but <laughs> that's the reality. As you exhale, come into goddess. Toes out, heels in. Tailbone lengthens down. Feel long here in your side body. Next, inhale, five point star. As you exhale, hands on the hips, shift the weight to your right foot and slowly float the left leg up. Squeeze this glute me, this glute medius right here. Squeeze the glute. Find your nice um, focus right here. Soft breath, inhale. Remember, you're going to plant the left foot. You're going to swivel towards the left side, bending that left leg, pivot the back heel, come into high crescent lunge. Nice job, you guys. Inhale. And as you exhale, drop the left hand down. Find a nice lateral bend stretch to the left. Woo, feels so good. Inhale. As you exhale, plant the hands down. Step back into your downward facing dog. Revisit the flow if you want. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Squeeze everything towards your midline. Engage the muscles underneath the armpits and the sides of the ribs as you lower down to your chaturanga and as you come up into your back bend of choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. Now let's turn this into a legitimate flow. <laughs> Inhale here. And then exhale. Ha. Inhale. Bottom of the exhale. Walk your feet towards your hands or step, step. Heel toe your feet a little closer. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, sit back on your chair. Inhale, twist. Exhale, left elbow plants outside the thigh. Inhale. Deepen the twist. Exhale, step the left foot back into a twisted lunge. Next, inhale, plant the back heel, reverse warrior. Le reach the right arm up. As you exhale, goddess pose, hold, toes out, heels in. Inhale, five point star, everything lengthens out. Exhale, hands to hips. Send the weight on that left leg. Inhale, float the right leg up. Squeeze the right glute. Exhale, slowly plant. High crescent lunge. Right leg is bent. Left foot is back. Heels up. Drop the right arm. Inhale, lengthen left arm. And then exhale, find your nice lateral bend stretch right here. 
Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, plant the palms. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Bottom of the exhale, walk feet to hands. Inch the feet a little bit closer. And then slowly rise up. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, twist to the left. Take your time. Exhale, right elbow down towards your thighs. Pelvis neutral as much as possible. Inhale, deepen the twist. Whew. As you exhale, slowly step the right foot back, keeping the twist. Inhale, pivot the back heel, plant it down, reverse warrior. Left leg bends, left arm up. Exhale, goddess pose, toes out, heels in. Cactus arms, tailbone points down towards your mat, gather your belly. Inhale, five point stars, side body so long. Exhale, hands to the hips. Shift the weight on your right leg. Inhale, float the left leg up. Squeeze the left glute. Side body remains long. Exhale, plant, don't drop. Pivot towards your left. Find high crescent lunge. Exhale, drop the left hand down. Inhale, lengthen up the arm before your lateral bend stretch towards the left side. Inhale here. And then exhale, hands down. Downward facing dog. Please know that you can rest anytime. You can come into child's pose, hit the pause button if you want. Otherwise, we're gonna spend two breaths in this down dog, remove any kinks, anything that just feels tight, breathe to it. Get your focus and attention to the side body. Keep it long. Keep it spacious. And then last breath here. Inhale in this downward facing dog. Exhale. Bottom of exhale, look up. Walk or step, step foot towards the hands. And then inching the feet a little closer together. Inhale, rise. Watch your palms connect. Hands to heart center. Exhale, sit on your chair. Inhale, twist up to the right. Exhale, plant the elbow. Take your time, guys. Move slower than I'm cueing. Inhale, deepen the twist. As you exhale, step the left foot back, keeping that twist, twisted lunge. Plant the back heel. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right leg deeply bent. Exhale, goddess pose. Toes out, heels in. Can you sink a little lower? Inhale, five-point star, long and strong. Exhale, shift the weight to the left leg, hands on the hips. Slowly come up, lift the right leg up. Beautiful. Without dropping, slowly planting the right foot, swivel the body to the right side, lift the back heel, high crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, lower your right hand down. Inhale, left leg, sorry, left arm up. Exhale, lateral bend stretch to the right side. Feels so good. This time we're going to add a couple more poses. Exhale, find airplane. Lengthen your right leg and send your arms to the back. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart center, bend the legs, and then slowly lift the back leg up for warrior three. Or if you choose to have your hands on a block, then you can have grounded warrior three. Left hip in line with the right, toes pointing down that left foot. Inhale. And as you exhale, slowly plant the back foot, drop the hands down, come into a side plank on your left side, be on the edges of the left foot, and you can stack the legs and come up, or you can have the right foot down, or even have the left knee down. Whichever side plank is in the cards today, do that. Feel the left side, sort of really active here in this side plank, but lengthen the right side so you can even send the right arm overhead. 
Bicep towards the ear. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly come into a downward facing dog. Again, you can take a break anytime you want. Deep inhale here. Exhale it out. Beautiful. Bottom of exhale. Look towards your hands. Walk feet to hands. Heel to your feet a little closer together. And then inhale. Rise up. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Sit in your chair on an exhale. Whew. I'm sweating right now. I'm feeling a little warm. Inhale. Twist to the left. <laughs> exhale. Right elbow onto your left thigh. Deepen that twist. Inhale, open the chest. As you exhale, step the right leg back for a twisted lunge. Plant the back heel. Keep the deep bend in the left leg. Inhale, reverse warrior. As you exhale, goddess pose, toes out, heels in. Inhale, five point star, side body long. Exhale, hands to hips. And this right leg is going to take all the weight. As you shift into the right leg, lift the left leg up. Feel your side body still long instead of crunched, squeezing this left glute. Planting, not dropping. Slowly swivel to your left side. Pivot the back heel. High crescent lunge. Bending the back leg gives you a hip flexor stretch. Lower the left hand down. Inhale, reach up high. And then lateral bend towards the left side. Woo. Inhale here. As you exhale, airplane, lengthen the front leg. Just spend about a one full breath here. Inhale. As you exhale, bend both legs, hands to heart center. Before you lift the right leg up into a warrior three. Could be warrior three floating or grounded. You can put your hands on the mat or on blocks if you want. Keep the right hip level with your left hip. Inhale. As you exhale, bend the left leg, plant the right foot. Plant your hands down, side plank on the right side. Find your flavor in your side plank. The left foot can be forward. You can have your right knee down. Whichever one is accessible to you today, please honor that. Notice the difference between your right and left side bodies. Inhale here. And then exhale, slowly come into a plank. Plant your knees apart from each other. Toes towards each other. Push back child's pose. You can even have your arms and your hands underneath your forehead like a pillow. And just you can rest your heads on top of your arms. If you've lost your breath in the movement, then now's the time to find it. Deep breath in. And breathe it out. Plant your elbows down. And you can clasp your hands together. And if this is not comfortable to you, then you can either plant your elbows on the block or just sort of plant your arms down, but just send the attention towards your triceps as they're lengthening out with your elbows down. Hands come together. If you want, you can find this opportunity for your thumbs to massage your neck from the base of the skull all the way down towards your neck, only if that feels good to you. Otherwise, you can stay right here, too. Slide your elbows a little bit more forward, feeling that nice lengthening in the triceps. Inhale. As you exhale, plant your palms and walk your hands over to the right side. Feeling heavy in the left hip. Feeling the nice length on the left side. Breathe. Good. 
Inhale. And as you exhale, walk the hands over to the left side. Find your rainbow. Be heavy on the right hip. Inhale, lengthen your right waist, your right side. And then exhale, right hip down. One more time, inhale. Exhale down. Beautiful. Slowly come back to center. Slide the hands underneath the shoulders. Keeping your knees apart, your heels, your hips towards your heels. Hands behind you. Open up the chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, but send your attention towards your waist, your left side body. Still feeling spacious and long. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze shoulder blades towards each other. And then slowly come up. Find your way lying down on your backs, whichever direction you're facing. It doesn't really matter. Keep the legs bent. And then float the feet off of the mat. Send the knees towards the chest and just rock left and right. And slowly plant the feet down. You can open the arms to the side, but make a figure four with your legs, with your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Please nudge your lower spine down, so almost like your entire spine is touching your mat. Curl your tailbone, and your next inhale, you squeeze your glutes and slowly lift yourselves up in this glute bridge with a figure four. But find the focus here on your left side, I'm uh, sorry, your side bodies, especially on that right side that tends to collapse because the right leg is bent. Feel it long and strong. Keep squeezing the glutes, tailbone pointing towards the back of that left knee. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower. Right foot is down. Find the figure four on this left side, left ankle on top of your right thigh. Nudge the left knee away from you already. Lower the spine down. Curl your tailbone, squeeze the glutes to lift up. Send your attention to the left side body. Try not to not let it collapse. Don't have to be super high here. Do not thrust your hips up. I want you guys to feel this in your glutes. and Feel an opening in your lower back. Inhale. And then exhale. Beautiful. Feet are, are mat width apart. And then find those windshield wipers that we did at the start of class. Maybe two more times in each direction. Exhale left. Inhale center. Exhale right. Next time you're on the right side, send your right ankle on top of your left thigh, but this time it's outside the left thigh. And as you're here, let the left hand grab your right elbow and find the lateral bend, sorry, right hand grabs the left elbow and find the lateral bend stretch over to the right side. So as the knees are on the right, right ankle on top of the left leg, find this nice opening right here. Whew. One more time, inhale. And then exhale, release the right foot. Everything comes back to center. Drop your knees to the left, left ankle on top of your right thigh. And this time, yes, the left hand grabs the right elbow. Slowly slide the upper body towards the left to feel this unraveling and opening, unfolding on the right side. The crack that shall open. Last breath right here, inhale, and then exhale, slowly release the figure four. If there's any other pose that you're dying to do, you can do that right now, or you can also follow me, Supta Baddha Konasana, 
drawing the soles of the feet together, knees apart. Maybe interlace your fingers on the edge of the feet and just find these nice rocks, keeping the side body long. I'll never get tired of saying that, right? At least for this class. <laughs> I'll be saying that all day long. <laughs> and then inhale. As you exhale, release the hands, release the feet. Send your knees towards your chest. Whichever pose or movement that you did, you can have about 20 seconds to finish. Whatever it is, honor it. And it's okay if it's not what I'm doing, if it's something else. Wherever you are, about a breath. And on your next inhale, send the knees towards the chest and curl up into a ball as you lift your head towards your knees. Find a nice inhale here. And as you exhale, find your Shavasana. Spread the feet out wide. Hands on either side of the hips if you want. Palms face the sky. Let's inhale through the nose. Open the mouth side out. Oh, one more time, just like that. Inhale in. And let's shush it out. Shavasana. With every exhale, sink deeper and deeper into the sand. Feel the weight of your skull. Feel your upper back coming in contact with your mat. Notice the weight of your shoulders. The mid-back. Maybe there is space between the lower back and the mat. Or maybe there's not, depending on your spine, depending on your body. Notice the buttocks, the thighs, the legs, the knees, the toes, the heels. Notice your arms, how your elbows are turned out, and your fingers as well. Deep in your inhale. As you exhale, move your fingers, move your toes. If you like a longer shavasana, hit the pause button and spend more time here. Otherwise, if you're doing this with me, next inhale, give yourselves a good morning stretch. Long and strong, toes point forward, arms go overhead. And as you exhale, you bend the legs, roll onto a side of your choice. Spending about a breath there with your heart heavy and your head heavy. And then gently push yourselves up into a nice and comfortable seated position. Crossing at the shins. <laughs> you can fix your hair like I just did. Hands to heart center. Palms together. Thumbs touch your chest. And then bow your head towards your hands. Taking a nice respectful bow to yourself, you are your own shrine, you are your own altar, and you are your own temple. Inhale with me. And as you exhale, take a deeper bow. And then share a word of gratitude towards yourselves and anybody in your friends and family who encouraged you to take, the, to take this class or who supported you to take the time to take this class too. Thank you so much for sharing your practice. I really hope that you enjoy this side body conscious vinyasa class. I hope you go ahead and take my other classes as well. I have a lot for you. But for now, I am in deep gratitude. Thank you for letting me guide you from my heart to yours. Namaste, 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 which means the light in me honors the light in you. Thank you so much. Take care and goodbye for now. <laughs>